Hello guys, this is Jerry speaking, welcome to LGBTQ Book Reviews, episode 4, and I'm in a different location for you guys in the next 3 episodes, so today, we're going to read you a story called, um, Mr. T Talk Clock, Clockworker David, now, Devon, if you watch this episode right now, you know how much you feel at this point, so there you go on that. So, um, I'm taping this at my Uncle Kevin's house, so, at the upstairs, so, there you go on that, folks. So, let's read you a story called, uh, Mr. Tick-Tock Clock, Clockworker David Now, because I'm, just, if you saw the right side, you know, it, I'm going to read you two more books that will be in the feature in the next two episodes, you know, that's just me. But anyway. Let's get to Clockworker David right now. Anyway. Mr. T. Tuck Clock, Clockworker David. Hmm. Strangely enough. Look at here. <laughs> and it's kind of nifty, okay. Mr. T. Tuck Clock. And I'm pronouncing names wrong. Clockworker David. Written and illustrated by Devon Miller. Hmm, okay. Well, is that his, his sister or his brother? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, just to joke around, but anyway. Mr. T. Tuck Clock is on his way to Clockwork Towers. He's whistling a happy tie. Two, excuse me, I misspoke. But anyway. There you go. Mr. T. Top Clock made it to work. Oh my god, my nose is running. But anyway. Um, he then realized something. He realized that the clock at Clock River Towers was stuck. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, it's not it's not funny at all, but it's sad in a way. But anyway, he check his watch. Okay. Um, normally this will check it out than the way it used to be, but overall it was gray and all. So there you go. Then check to Chuck. Oh, I spoke. Clock uh, uh, worker towers. The time was wrong. Oh my god. And he had to fix it. And I agree with Mr. T. Top Clock. You know, that's just me. Uh, while going up the clock worker towers, Talk City saw uh, him, his friend Tina. Oh yeah, I thought it was his sister. But anyway, Tina Tick Top Clock. Oh, I see where this is going. <laughs> she is red with white polka dots and wore her red eye heels with a big, big paint bow. Tina was a screaming and crying. Oh my god. Okay. But anyway. She didn't know what time it was. Most people re realized on the clock at the uh, clock over the towers. Because his power is all the other clocks in the, in the city. Kind of reminds me of... She kind of reminds me of Claire DeVille. Or something like that. But anyway. From the 101 Dalmatians. But that's just me. But that's what she looks like. But anyway. Mr. T. Tuck Clock told her not to worry. He was going to fix the clock. Oh my, this is so going to be truthful, but anyway. Tina then gave Tiggy a hug and a kiss. Oh boy. I knew you were going to fix it, Tiggy, said uh, Tina with convenience. That was cute of, of Tina. <laughs> Just then, Tiggy starts the ring. Oh my. Well, when you look at the time, said Tiggy, what time is it, as, um, uh, Tina? Well, it's 
nifty 10 o'clock, so what do you expect? But anyway, next page. It's time to fix a clock. Oh boy, we're on to something here. Mr. T Top Clock pull himself onto the, the clock. Oh boy, we're gonna expect. First, he tried re reversing the arms of the clock to the right time. Hmm. And he did a great job of it. Which I will say that. Just then, Tiggy's boss came. Oh my god. Whose boss? Whose boss is this? Is that? Freaking. I don't know. His name is Rotten Tooth Ted. Ted for sure. Oh yeah, I thought it was a freaking um, tooth, but not a tooth, but the can't really describe it, but I don't know what it was. He was, but yeah, that's just me, of course. But anyway, Ted got angry because Tiggy was fixing the clock. Why? You gotta learn not to be angry, Ted. Like, seriously, dude. Come on. Anyway, he didn't want Tiggy to fix the clock. So disrespectful, man. Ted, um, uh, never liked Tiggy. He thinks Tiggy ruined things. I disagree. So Ted pushed him aside when Ted wasn't looking. Really? Doesn't make any sense to me, Ted. No. He's a, you're a villain. You're really a villain. Tiggy stuck his tongue out, then climbed down. Yeah. Let's climb down and all of a sudden you get this nifty thing. That's what's going on here with this whole bull crap. <laughs> anyway, to next page. Mr. T Tuck Quark had an idea, so he lead Tina to go to get to the gear room. We'll see what about that. Uh, Ted's been doing other things, be making a villain, and we'll see. But it depends. We'll see. Just as Tiggy and Tina enter the room, Tiggy saw a problem that something yellow is stuck in the gears. Hmm. That's cool. Something like, for example, tick tock, tick tock. Ah. Anyway. Next. Mm -mm. To get out and be careful. Yeah, he. The uh, time with the thing, but anyway. Um, so he climbed up the, around the rope and swung upon the the thing. So that so, so it was calling it gear. Hmm, that's strange, but okay. It was a rubber duck that was stuck in the in the gears. Rubber ducky, you're the one. You just slid my number one, rubber ducky. You my only best friend. It's true. Oh boy, from the Sesame Street gears. <laughs> but anyway, look at look at that. Alex left his toy here yesterday. It was it was t it was take. Your kids to work day yesterday, Tiggy said. Oh my, what do we have here with this clock? And the rubber duck. Wait a minute. Do we see here? Look, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was creeped out with his eyes, but whatever. He went to draw over here, and all of a sudden get over here. I drew it like a one eye, and then the other eye was like this, but. 
you know, that's me. But I like it, though. <laughs> but anyway, Nick Sage. Anyway, when the clock was fixed, it was made a sound and went tit top, tit top, tit top, tit. I mean, excuse me. Uh, I almost misspelled, but anyway. It went tit top, tit top, tit, tit, top, talk. Tit top, tit top, tit top, top, tit tit top, top. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, Tina then played her ukulele. It's like a Y thing, but anyway. That uh, she would pull out from her purse. Kind of reminds me of that freaking hand of a lane, but. Uh, yeah, I always kept on myself, but anyway. We're loud singing, um, living the sunlight, living the moonlight, but anyway. In the, in the white, in this Australian show. And that's, it's something from Spongebob as well, but anyway. Um, she played it to the, look at the clock. Mr. T Top Clock started to dance to the sound. Just then, he heard some noises outside. Oh boy. What a unique coincidence here. And that is going to be something new to this book. But that's just me, of course. Yeah. What here? Sorry, my mouth is doing something right now. Um, Tiggy and T Tina heard the cries of the people outside. It makes no difference, makes sense, but. Um, it was Ted's fault for me. I'm sorry. The way they were all asking what time it was, they didn't want to be late for work or to report an event. What time is it? Oh, man. I felt sorry for Ted, these people at this point. Do you know what time it is? Is that a dog in the mailbox? Mail boy? He's like, do special delivery. But well, or a police officer, I don't know. No, but have you seen my rubber duck? Hey, I know what time it is. Well, rubber ducky, you're the one again. But you know, this is a Sesame Street song, but anyway, you'll see. <laughs> but overall, it's sad to see the police um, feel like having their cries. It's like Dr. Seuss or something like that, but we'll see. It's 11 a.m. 11 a.m.? I'm late for work. Great, you, know, you, you get the officers mad. Jesus Christ. But anyway, as soon as the lady said it was 11 o'clock and the dog ran for to go to work, Everyone turned to see Tiggity on the cuckoo floor boards outside the... Cameo up here is my stepdad, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not on there. No, I'm just... I'm just, uh... I'm just gonna read the book and show up, you know. But anyway... Um, as soon as the lady said it was 11 o'clock a.m. and the dog ran to w go to work, everyone turned to see Tiggity on the cuckoo floor bore outside um, the gear room of Clockwork's um, tour, Towers. Now, that's just sad for me in this book, so be worthy about it, Devon. So, there you go. It's just so nifty when it comes to this. Thing, but anyway, next page.
Tiggy D Fix the Clock says, yeah, it's a comic strip book, but anyway. Yes, I did fix the clock, and this rubber duck was stuck in the gear. It belongs to Alex. What? Wait. Who said anything about Alex? Okay. It's going up. And is that her sister licking a lollipop or something? And is it a puppy or something? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. It's, that's cute. But anyway. Next page. Tiggy then threw the rubber duck to Alex. Thank you, Tiggy. Shout out, Alex. Um, I thought I lost you. Alex said to his rubber duck. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. The people were so glad that the duck, the clock was fixed. Oh, man. They thanking waved the Tiggy. Before they go into work. Oh, God. Why is he so sad in this picture? But, man, this is so nifty, I guess. But, there you go. Next page. <clears throat> Back in the gear room. Tina realized the time. Tom, thanks for fixing the clock. Tiggity. Um, we wouldn't know what to do without you or the clock. You shouldn't, you should, excuse me, I misspoke. You should, uh, fix the clock wherever it, uh, gets broken, said Tina. Tina gave Tiggy a hug, then left for work. Bye. <laughs> yep. Tina and Tiggy all together. Is he a friend or just a. Hmm. Not gonna say what, but well. It's like what? Man. Last two pages, and that's it. And when Tina left, Rotten Tooth Ted uh, walked in. He was shouting at Tiggy. And tell him not to fix the clock. Oh my god. Seriously? Will you shut up um, the tooth? Oh man. This does not help. But Tiggy didn't listen. It was glad that the clock and the clock war water towers was working perfectly again. The end. Yep. Yeah and I disagree with the this villain here. Uh, I'm not going to read you the, about the offer thing right now. So that was Clock Warfare, um, David. I think it was amazing because this book is too hard to be a success. I'm giving this a 10 out of 10 overall. Well, actually an 8 out of 10 overall because not only because it's a, the, the one one problem I have with this book is, um, um, actually, one, yeah, one problem slash the flaws were about, here's the thing, Red is a tooth named Ted, decided to not change the clock, not, uh, change the clock to, to whatever time it was, I'm like, are you kidding me now? Are you seriously kidding me, Ted? You are not going to believe this. But Tiggy didn't want to change the clock. That's one of the main flaws. But the other uh, best part about the, the um, this one is that the rubber duck getting stuck in the um, 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 the clock towers. But yeah, I misspoke. But anyway. But anyways, guys, that wraps up with this video. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next one, which is going to be Mr. T Top Clock, The Travel to Washington. But until next time, this is Jefferson Goodbye. Peace out, baby. Get more Ultraman videos, you guys, very soon. But it's been Jefferson out. See ya.